Well, here goes nothing. Greetings and blessings to all. I am going to take a trip. I'm going shopping. I'm going to Costco. And I just thought, since I made videos every time I go shopping, I do it like once every two weeks or so. So I thought I'd do it again because I had a couple things on my mind. I'm all good. Doors closed. Got the key. Got it. So, with... I mean, a lot, I have a, they're all, all my thoughts are jumbled in my mind, but I'm just going to spit them out, you know, as they come. Obviously, I want to talk about what's happening with the banking, um, with the Silicon Valley Bank, you know, collapsing in, in California. Uh, and then there was some new news of some signature bank in New York, which, uh, you know, which is having some trouble and not being able to support itself. I can't remember the terminology, but it's kind of falling. And, uh, you know, it just brings me back to, you know, what exactly is the most valuable possessions that you have? What, what And what what's the structure for the future? Basically, you know, what exactly do you need? What exactly can you live without? I've been doing this for over 10 years, 12 years, cutting the cords to your old life and defining your new life and new direction. If you think that when uh, I was about to use the word success, let's, let's look at that word for a second. Success. I almost just said uh, when I'm successful with, uh, you know, let's say with, doc you know, documentation and correction of my status or, um, you know, sovereignty or, you know, going from public to private and uh, so, so if I was successful, if you you know, the etymology of the word success is you suck cesspool, you know, if you think about it, cesspool is where, where all the shit, you know, all the feces and shit goes. So if that's a cesspool and you're sucking off of the cess, it's exactly what, what uh, being successful, they, they, there's a play on words, so we, we, should, uh, we should start, you know, removing that or all words that, you know, have hidden meaning. So um, successful in, you know, success. And it's, if you think about the old terminology of the word that we thought it, w it was, it was like, all right, well, I'm successful. Yeah, you're so successful. But anyway, uh, back to what I was saying was, you know, all the possession, what, like, what, what you know, um, whatever you depended on in the past, I've been cutting cords, removing, eliminating things that I don't need for years. For, you know, for at least 12 years. So like, look, I don't need this anymore. So now, with the banking collapse, if you think about it, let's say something happens where, you know, something similar to 2008 when, or 2012, like if the hurricane hits or, and, you know, there's no gas or and there's then, then no deliveries be made for food and such. So what exactly can you live with without? So... When we have access to a large amount of funds, what exactly would you do, you know, for yourself, your family, your tribe, and and then your, you know, your community? Would what would you in, what would you invest in? So you know, just this is where my mind is. You know, you know, I went through the whole vegan thing. I mean, for many many years, for at least seven eight years, you know, and. I'm, I'm, I'm a meat eater now, but I was a vegan for a very long time, and let's face it, there's no mangoes in, uh, in New York. Mangoes do not grow in New York. We depend on them. I mean, unless you could do them in a farm, which, yeah, that's one of the areas that I'm going to be, you know, working on, you know, you know greenhouse farming and such, um, also fish farming. So... So mangoes, you know, mangoes don't grow here. So 
where I'm getting at is all the things I need, I kind of imagine them in my, I haven't put them down on paper yet, but even the basic things like say plastic. Yeah, I know, I don't like using plastic. I drink everything out of glass as much. I don't drink anything out of plastic, but certain things come packaged in plastic. And um, you, I mean, it is a convenience. So now let's just say garbage, let's say bags don't get that that actually leads me to recycling so you know me myself in my community in my neck of the woods i'm talking about long island new york i'm you know uh, once i develop uh, a community and a let's say on a, on a tribal setting you're gonna be kind of obligated or responsible for handling many of the things that we take for granted you know uh with the supply chain so you know recycling glass they don't even take glass uh at the curb here where i live uh and glass when i throw away these bottles i feel so bad i try and reuse them as much as possible this i get at costco these bottles and the caps are awesome they're you know there's and when i think about Let's say if we went into like a Hunger Games scenario where, you know, hey, you're not going to be able to get this. You're going to be reusing, you know, I mean, if you think of the Amish, how they, you know, how they, you know, pickle everything and such to get probiotic benefits. And so anyway, um, you know, with the with the banking collapse, let's say if there was a total collapse, you know, and then the food chain and the supply chain gets you know, interrupted in a certain way. Um, that's gonna, you know, push you on a, like, all right, hey, you know, exactly. So now I have, you, let's say you're, you know, you're, um, you get at, you know, you, you're, uh, I don't even know, I can't even think of another word in place of success. Uh, if you're, um, I, you know, in Spanish it's exitoso. You know when you're, you know when you're, when you have, let's say, you know, you're, you complete something, and you know, kind of like, the, in the comparative to the word success is, is exitoso, um, exit, exitoso. You know, anyway, so I'm just gonna use the word just because I can't think of one. But you know, if you, if you, if you do, let me get in front of this truck. He's going super slow, and. Um, so, let me just say, man, I like I, the energies here in New York. They've been manipulating, you know, the the weather and spraying us with some stuff. I know the astrology definitely has something to do with it, with the barometric pressure and all of that. But um, you know, it's been at they wait every two weeks something happens where they because i know when you eat the same foods from the same supplier and are pretty careful with yourself or what you put into your body and then you still get sick there's an outside force you know there's an outside force influencing your your health and then pretty much your mental stability as well because when you're you know when when you know you you're not doing anything wrong you're fo focused on your mission and and you know you have you do all the positive affirmations you're focused on what you you know what you want and you don't you know like you're very focused on on it and you don't let any outside forces like uh you know you know cutting the cords of, of all unnecessary relationships you have and then it's still, and then you're still having trouble, which I've been having for about a, about a, about ten days now, about a week. But before, right before then, I was lit. It's you know. So who controls the astrology? Because definitely the astrology definitely has something to do with it. I've been going from you know getting a lot of stuff done, and then if you want to share in the comments on, hey, is this happening to you, uh, or 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 not? But that does not. Um, that does not remove what's been happening here in New York because they, everything comes from west to east and from south to north in the, the New England area. And with that train, you know, with those toxic chemicals, weather balloon shit, you know, the spy balloon and 
when when they were doing that that whole thing when that came that was a very bad strain of whatever they had going on in the skies because they you know I, I i got bad news the place i was going to i'm in front of this truck again you got in front of me i'm just gonna get in front of him let me i gotta my car is on limp mode so i have to manually change gears it's got six gears but i'm on limp limp mode so i can't go up above a certain rpm there's so many lights on this thing which also leads me to a topic where because i know i skip around but i went in to buy a, a vehicle just I just wanted to, you know, see if who knows, maybe they might just give it to me. A minivan, it was a brand new minivan, and uh, they denied my credit, but I'm gonna bring charges on them, and I'm, I'm gonna wind up owning the whole dealership. So when I when I own the dealership, it's a Dodge, no Chrysler, uh, Jeep, and Alfa Romeo. So when I own it. It's probably going to be the best thing that's going to happen to them because the company, I'm just going to put it through a little bit of restructuring, you know. Um, I'm, going to put, I'm going to leave all the people in place there. I'm just, you know, I'm not going to own it. I'm just going to control it, you know. You know that strategy, right? Um, own nothing, control everything. So it's probably going to be the best thing that happened. They were a little depressed in there, you know, no car sales, this and that. You know, once I own it, or I should say, once I control, have controlling interest of it, then, you know, everybody that's linked to this channel could come in and, you know, we'll, you know, we'll do everything all the proper way and, you know, you'll get your vehicles. Everything on the lot, we'll order more, order, build your own, whatever. You know, I just want to make sure that I can go get groceries because, you know, I'm not going to stop with this. But back to what I was saying about I got bad news is that uh, the place I used to go to in Colombia, I've been in communication with my, um, with my uh, sole trustee in Colombia. This beautiful little town, it was sunny skies. I'm talking about 100% clear sunny skies every single day that I was there. I don't remember it ever raining while I was there for about four months. So I like that kind of weather. You know, I like that kind of weather. Of course, I love the rain, but real rain. And then uh, it finally did rain. When they did this whole pandemic thing in, 2000, in 2020, right? 2023, 2021, 2020, right? At the beginning of 2020, in, you know, February, uh, March, they... At the same time that happened, when you know, when I first heard about people starting to put on masks, remember March 2020? In that little town, it was interesting that the utility companies were, were hard at work. And now it's all making sense to me. I didn't know it at that time, uh, you know, that they're putting in, you know, but now I'm seeing they, put, they were putting it in 5G. You know, whether they call it 4G or you only have a 4G phone, now everybody's got 5G phones even in that little town. And you got to go up a mountain pass, take a, you know, take a rocky road where, you know, it's like dangerous and stuff. And then you get to this town that basically has a couple of paved roads. Everything else is dirt and they want to control that town. So now she's telling me that, oh, all right, I'm in drive. Uh, she's telling me and she sent me videos. I can't share, but on this, I finally got a new phone. I can screen record with it, but I don't think I could share the screen while I'm recording this video, no. Uh, unless, I, unless I started screen recording and then started recording a video. But anyway, so she showed me videos two days in a row, about, you know, 10 minutes where I could tell. I, you know, I know chemtrail uh, skies when I see them. And there are chemtrail in the skies there because I wanted to do a little getaway. I really wanted to be there now, but, you know, too bad that they're doing weather modification in pretty much, it's right on the border of Venezuela, you know, Venezuela, where there's nothing there. It's like, it's right outside of a city, but what they do is from the center of the city, they go outward, outward, outward. You know, now I kind of enjoy going to the Hamptons because the Hamptons, they don't want it. They don't want 5G. 
uh, I'm talking about the deep Hamptons where all these hidden, you know, million, billion dollar Hamptons. I've been to a lot of these homes doing service in my old service, my old roofing and chimney company. But you go there, you basically have no signal. You have no signal no matter what. You can have whatever, T-Mobile, Verizon, anyway. So they're starting it there. All right, so, uh, so you know, back to what I was saying about I know I skip around a lot, but back to what I was saying about the supply chain and, you know, what things do we take for granted, like the plastic bags and glass. And, you know, so now if you are, you know, if you are, let's say, vegan, and you're going to either start having to invest in greenhouse farming. So think of that. You know, you got to, if you're going to have unlimited funding, you got to know how to manage a staff I've done this before I had a staff of um, I had a staff of, of, of almost 40 people about 38 people you know this is in in, uh, in office and in the field so you know I've, I have that on, on, you know under my belt I've, I've done that before I'm good at it it's not easy but it gets easier the more you spread the wealth. So, you know, when you get people, when you get individuals, you know, working with you and, you know, you're gonna be hiring people, hiring, hiring people, of course you wanna, there's gonna be a difference between people that you network with within, within your tribe and then, you know, entities that you're gonna own publicly. You know, you're gonna have public, and if you if you if you want that, if you want to go full private, and look, man, I want to get lost in some nature setting. More power to you. Do it. You know, but you should consider, you know, that you might need a little assistance from the public side, and all of these, you know, NPCs around you, because you may need to make barriers. To protect your tribe, you know, privately on private lands, you may need to make a circumference around you that has your public entities kind of protecting you. You know, um, it's kind of like almost like in time. Remember that movie in time with um, what's his name? Yeah, sometimes I just draw blanks right now, but I'm drawing a blank. Justin Bieber? No, it's not Justin Bieber. Justin Timberlake. That movie, In Time. Now, I'm going to tell you that a lot of these movies from the past, because I was able to, I was, I'm able to see the future. I've, I've been able to see the future for pretty much all my life. And But but be careful of who you share it with, because I was sharing it with a lot of people. Like, like no, America's going to collapse. Maybe it wasn't exactly going to collapse, but it was going to go through a transition, and it wasn't going to go when you thought it was, but you're seeing the future. So a lot of these movies that are ahead of their time, you know, if you've watched that movie, if you haven't, that is a must. I'm going to start doing things when I get into the groove of, of uh, hey, you know, I just need a break, because now, sun is, um, sun is conjuncting Neptune. Neptune, obviously, if you look at Neptune, it's got a, you know, it looks like an antenna. So, Neptune is when you go into, like, spacey, dreamyville, you know, where, you know, you would just want to, like, it's biggest, especially in Pisces. Oh, my God. You got Sun conjunct Neptune in Pisces? That's escapism. So, I even, you know, I've been clean on, you know, from alcohol for six months and I had a small little you know like relapse but you know like like I just had a couple you know a couple of drinks and then to be honest like everything changed and I needed I just nothing was satiating my 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 this I didn't know what I wanted because if I when I wake up I I, I kind of focus on one thing so at least I get one thing done. How it happens I don't know. You know all the, the, the minuscule details are different. You know, the minuscule details of how it's gonna happen. Oh, let me see, do I need gas? Because I'm getting to the Costco soon here. So, I'm kinda 
kind of good on gas, but you know what? Because once I park, maybe I will. Maybe I will just go get gas. Um, yeah, I just gotta focus on this. I gotta focus on this. I may not, but um, satiated. Oh, so then because of sun conjunct, I'm gonna park because I wanna I wanna focus on this. So I can finish this and get all these thoughts out. And uh, so Pisces is 12th house, solar 12th house, because if, you know, obviously there's either other people talking about it, you know, the, 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 the new year is March 21st. So we're coming up on new year here. There was one of the uh, brothers talking about that, where he was going to have a new year's party in Florida. You know, um, I forget that guy's name, Mansa, which I should share. I've been blown away with a lot of new information new people because you got pluto changing houses you know changing houses and saturn changing houses this is all new people all your your, your life is going to be populated with a lot of new people it, you know not to say that they could not be people that were in your past and just pop up P be prepared and um so now i'm like you know i'm um a lot of, I mean, you know, there's some new people that are coming in my life, you know, um, some new people, but I, I know, and I trust that they're going to be the right people. Why? Because I got barriers, you know, it's like almost like an energetic protection. I don't have no friends. I have very, beside you guys, like I keep very, very few friends, um, like especially, you know, on the outside, but you know, there's certain people that I do, that I do keep. So what I'm saying is, um, you, you don't close the doors completely because, because you know, based on your frequency, you know, if you need further lessons, the universe or you as the manifester of of your movie, hey, what's that? I was thinking of the saying, how they do it in, how they say in show business, um, the show must go on, you know. The show must go on. So, uh, anyway. So, we got the sun conjunct Neptune, right? And so, I was I, I was spacing out. I had some I had some wine. And then, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm not drinking now. And I'm, I'm good. Because I... Because the energies are starting to change slightly. Because nothing was functioning. And I figured out what it was. It was two weeks ago when I was so lit my left brain and right brain but more dominated by my left brain was 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 kind of lit but then the energies completely shut off for left brain so that now my right brain which controls like imagination that was kicking in full time so now you know either you're going to be once you're balanced then you could take your imaginative and you're, you know, like you're manifesting and then bring it into reality. But these energies shift. So now once it shifted to right brain, all I wanted to do was I, you know, like get lost in because sun is conjuncting Neptune, which is Neptune is dreamy. It's definitely, um, you know, uh, relapsing. So if you have a drug problem or alcohol problem, let me shut this down. Let me get a little bit of air in here. Uh, so this is, you know, it, or this week was, I don't know what's what's to come, you know, with this next week. But my astrologer, you know, David Palmer, the Leo King, he's on YouTube. You know, I'm, I'm in his group, a private paid group. And he's, he's, you know, he's really, really smart. He's an amazing astrologer. So if you want to check him out, David Palmer. And uh, the Leo King is on YouTube. But uh, so he says this upcoming week is going to be something. But now I'm starting to, you know, because I was I was in a I was in a slump. I started watching movies again, like, you know, going back. I mean, I'll tell you, I watched a couple of movies which blew my mind. And then if they're not in your reality, you know, um, this is where the Mandela effect kicks in. So it's like I never heard of that movie. What's that movie? So do I, and these movies are ahead of their time. Why? Because the people that created them, you know, the characters that created them, 
I honestly think that a lot of these movies are getting influenced by the simulacrum or the simulation, the simulated environment or, you know, the AI or, or so, because some of these movies are too good. Like, they could change the, the AI power levels now. They could make a movie out of scratch and use these actors without even them really being in the movie. I mean, if you've seen those movies, how they made... You know, uh, for example, I forget that guy in, what's that guy's name in, um, in that movie, the movie when they're in the video game, guy, guy something, uh, new guy, right? Yeah, new guy. Yeah, that movie, new guy, where, where that actor, he had his version and then he had this version that was all puffy. Obviously, you remember and you know that. All right, so anyway, where am I getting at? Um, so the movie was called The Adjustment Bureau. The Adjustment Bureau, and then I've already mentioned in one of my past videos about Archaics, A-R-C-H-A-I-X YouTube channel. You know, I shared it on, on my, you know, thousand subscriber anniversary. Um... So, that guy Archaics, he came out with, he reminded me, hey, watch that movie, you know, uh, and I watched it, and I watched it kind of like, you know, half asleep, but then I couldn't stop watching it, I watched the whole thing, and there was a Mandela effect that happened, because when I watched the movie, it was in France, now it was in New York, I would have remembered if it was in New York, but it was in 2011, so I watch, I watch movies same year or next year. You know what I mean? I don't. Once I once it's out of my, I always watch my new movies feed because I'm a movies guy. I watch my new movies feed on all of the you know on all of the areas or you know back then let's say if it was Blockbuster or so. And I'm like, nah, I'm not watching that movie now. I'm watching it later. It's just not the time to watch it. Or but if I don't watch it, then I watch it years later. But that movie I watched when it was at the beginning and. That movie was, was, to my recollection, was in France, uh, was in Paris at that time. Now it was in New York, which was mind-boggling to me, you know. Um, but then again, I've been through a lot, you know. I've been through a lot, so, you know, some of my memory might, you know, but but my, my gut, my heart memory cells, because, you know, I believe that we have, uh, I be live, <laughs> I believe that, that we, we store, um, we have neurons in our heart, and uh, those are the ones that you can never, they, they can't do anything with, I, I, I mean, unless your body's failing, you know, but my, my heart neurons are like, um, they, they don't, they don't lie to me, anyway, so I watched that movie, and you know, I'm not going to get too much into it, but it's basically where two people were destined to meet and every, everybody around them was trying to prevent them from meeting, even after they do meet, because, and then there were these enforcers, there were these enforcers, almost like men in black type people, that were preventing it. There's a lot of people in here. There's a lot of people in this Costco today, and I take up, I always take up two, two, two spaces. Yeah, this, uh, and, you know, I take up, I, I take up, I love this parking spot right here. It's all the way at the end, and, you know, what the fuck is going on here? I hate, there's a bunch of people behind me, but they're not here for me, for my taking up two spots. I usually just take up two spots. Nobody takes these. But if they do, they stay two spots. You know, they. Uh, I always do this. I've done this all my like for all, all my almost all my life. I always go to the end of the parking lot where I pick a spot, never near anybody, because you know, you know the stupid people that they bang in your your door. When I used to have nice cars and stuff, now I have a freaking minivan. But um, all right, so a couple, you know, so now the adjustment bureau. They tried to. I'm on for twenty nine twenty. Yeah, I guess, you know, not everybody's going to watch a lot of uh, full, you know, all you know these videos fully, but um, some people do because they start commenting on something that I said really towards the end. But you got to be in a certain, you know, if you're driving, right, and, you know, uh, 
there's only certain things that I want. You know, I don't I don't want to listen to music because I listen to music while I'm doing stuff. So when I'm driving, I'm not doing anything. So I want to either get information. I, I want to either download information or upload information. So either I'm going to play something that I don't need to look at it. Like, say, you know, play somebody like um or or you know but music i could have music in the background while i'm doing that you know what i mean but i didn't want to play music right now because now i finally got my tablet which is on verizon and this tablet sucks snapdragon processor is what i have on this new phone damn that thing is lightning if you got those intel processors you know anything from from they suck unless they're gonna re rebuild them if you get a new phone, make sure it's got a Snapdragon in it. That Snapdragon, I mean, I know it's Israeli tech, but they want to have their hands in anything. Whoever owns the processor owns pretty much can have... Everybody that owns a part of your phone can have access to your phone because they, it's a safe, it's a fail-safe. So in other words, it's like, you know, the processor guy, the phone guy, the glass guy, the apps person, you know, Google... You know, um, they all want a piece of it. That's why when I did this new phone, it took me three days going through all the settings because I had to refresh my memory of, of all these settings on my phone, right? I'm wondering if I should have done the video this way so people can watch it on their cell phone. Maybe I'll do that next time. But no, I like it the wide way uh, for people. So now... That Snapdragon, yeah, and so I went through all of the settings and made sure everything was backed up. You know what I did? I went through all the contacts. Listen, I, I managed my mother's phones, so I kind of like almost merged them. Kept her own, but but I, I eliminated, I went through a, a, a contact list because I lost my contact list years ago, which... It was meant to be. It was meant to be. All the old people are old people, all new people. But what I did was I went through my contact list, merged them all into one account. They, I populated one. I added a contact on my, you know, email con on my Google contacts list, and then it just as soon as I did it, it popped up on my phone. So, uh, which was that? Yeah, let me get into that now. Um, let me just finish the last sentence on. So I, I, I went through all my settings and. You know, to kind of, you know, consolidate everything and, you know, see where I'm going in the future. I eliminated everybody that I couldn't remember in that instant, right? No more than two thoughts. It's like, who is it? Who is it? Don't remember? Delete. Right there. And anyone that I'm like, oh, that could be that guy. I'm not sure. I left, you know? And then uh, that's it. I mean, at one point, my sole trustee, I left my phone. I gifted my phone to somebody. In, uh, to, to my sole trustee in Colombia in 2020. Holy shit. All her pictures that she started taking and all her uh, contacts started populating onto my phone. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, all your photos and, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't mind. Like, look, I, I, you know, if I'm involved in a woman now, if I'm involved, unless she's, you know, she's somebody, like most women, I'm like, look, man, you can do whatever you want. If we're together now, we're together now. If we're whatever, you know, it might change after, you know, you know, you make me a baby. That might, you know, change a little. But if we're together and I can't get you, you know, I can't get you, you know, we can't, you can't get pregnant or something like that. You're free. You know, you could, you could do whatever you want. You could be whatever. And, you know, a lot of pictures were populating with her and, you know, our friends. You know, I don't, the days of me controlling women... I tried that once with one woman. I, that's it. I just wanted this one woman, and it backfired. It, it not. I'm not controlling. I'm very giving, but in, with this particular woman, you know, that's where I was in my life, and I guess I had to learn that lesson. Now, any woman, I don't care, even if you know, at this at this mindset that I have, even if we have kids, she could walk anytime she wants. She could walk anytime she wants. You know, the kids are free to stay, you know, with me. I, I don't know. I just, like, that's that's my mindset right now. It may change. All right. So, anyway, so back to this. Uh, what I did do, now I'm going to skip because I want to go in there, get this done, get home. Let me take a sip of coffee. Black, no sugar. 
just to give me enough, you know, like stimulation to, uh, you know, to get this done. So basically what I'm doing is, remember the video I made last week about uh, Costco for the estate? Before I left, I, well, I got that card in, so it's in, it, you know, I used it last week, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to apply for a new card for my LLC. So I'm going to do that. I'll let you know how it goes, take snapshots, and then, um, so it's my all caps, just LLC, and I got the, I, I, I wanted to see, because I put all my EN, EIN numbers on my phone, you know, boom, and with the EIN number, and today, I, on this one, I put the address that I use, the exact address, you know, if it's a, if it's the address at the post office, or if it's your house, because this time I think I'm going to use the one that I put on there, because it's, uh, you know, now, I'm not sure, I'm going to just, as soon as I'm in front of it, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do, if I'm going to put the same address, or the address that I had on my EIN, uh, I'm going to decide that it's, it's snowing, it's kind of like, you know, it, it it's, it's kind of like a mixture of snow. Uh, and I know, you know, my Connecticut and stuff, people were getting a lot of snow and stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to uh, get that. I'll let you know if I get it or not. <clears throat> and then I started talking at the beginning. I started talking about the collapse. Yeah, so just think about what things that you can't do without. Everything inside your house. What can you not do without? Once you achieve financial freedom... And I'm talking about, you know, serious financial freedom, which a lot of us that are on this frequency and on this line are going to achieve. What are you going to invest in? I, I have so many plans. I'm talking about fish farms, greenhouses. I want to see if I could grow mangoes. I want to see if I could grow avocados. I used to live off of avocados. You know, uh, I went through a whole nut phase where my, my principal food, you know, I was turning into a squirrel. Like, I would have almonds, walnuts, um, pecans, those um, pine nuts, right? And then nut butters and stuff. So, um, you know, if you want those things, right, if something does happen and, the, you know, the shit hits the fan, S-H-I-T, shit hits, no, S-H-T-F, anyway, it, it, you, know, if the, you know, if the shit hits the fan and, and like, you know, you're not going to be able to get stuff from distant locations, you're going to have to, you know, and another thing, why, where, where my mind goes, is I, if you're on coastal areas and you're going to start, if you're in the position where, all right, you know, you're going to start, when you start looking for homes, make sure it's not far from water. Because I think ocean travel is going to be big. Like, my mind always goes there. Like, I... I I've always had for at least 20 years I've I've had the uh, I, I've had the gut instinct that I need to build an ark now I'm getting biblical on you but I'm serious like I want to I, I, I you know I want to be able to build boats that you can kind of transport you yourself your family and your tribe just in case shit hits the fan you want and then you want to develop incremental incremental coastal cities coastal safe havens where you can get to the tropics and if you're gonna do stuff in new york the people that are meant to stay here they're gonna stay it's gonna come down to it it's gonna come down to a point where it's like look are you coming or are you staying they're gonna follow their heart and they're like look man, i'm staying they're the ones that are gonna take care of everything they're gonna go through that because that's what their soul um mission is that's but yours may not be yours may like look we gotta go but it's a storm don't care you know there's a storm let's you know how uh, that guy that um that reggae singer says i just go where the trade winds blow i forget that guy's name um who knows who knows who knows who knows i just go where the trade winds blows you know it's like you're gonna go 
not the trade winds, but you're going to go where the soul winds blow. You know, you're going to go where your destiny is. I mean, there's something about sailing, you know. Of course, you're going to have a motor. You're going to have the highest tech motor. Yeah, but one day you're not going to be able to get fuel. Let's say, you know, I, I my mind thinks like that. You know, my mind thinks like that. Are you going to have an alternative fuel? Alternative energy. Look, free energy exists. Let me tell you, free energy exists. They've been scrubbed from the Internet. Only the ones that are, but actually some haven't. That's another thing I got to talk about is you got to start recording. I don't know if you notice, but every single, single thing you do on your computer as you're moving your mouse, your screen, your activity is all being recorded for posterity by AI, you know, and by by Google and everything you do. It's like, all right, but what the hell would you need that for? It's like, you know, somebody's going to watch your whole life. It's going to be sped up. You know, it's going to be sped up. Every time you do something, all your content, it's going to, it's all recorded. Everything is being recorded. So, um, I was getting at that because if, uh, you, if you haven't watched this movie, it's a must. The Final Cut with Robin Williams. The Final Cut with Robin Williams is a movie where they implant a chip. All these movies are ahead of their time. So the final cut, right, with Robin Williams, all these rich people, they get a chip implanted into them, some type of apparatus where their entire life, from when they're a baby to the end of their life, when they murder people, when they do this, when they do that, are all recorded. And then they have these kind of like uh, clergy type of funeral um, pastor type of people which Robin Williams was I forget what they call them but they they basically they do a, a eulogy and they take clips of your life so it was kind of like um rich people would like they want to make sure they have the the, the 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 right cutter to do their final funeral ceremonies the eulogy where they take they do like a five or a ten minute clip of the entire life but they're artistic with it. I mean, could you imagine with a video cutter, you know, video editor that, that is going to try and sum up one person's whole life, right, in 10 minutes time? So imagine when that happens to us because it's that's true. If you think about it, we're going to have access to these. People are probably going to be selling that data, the data of your electronic activity. Electronic activity. Every single mouse click. Every single... I mean, even your... Sexual, pornographic activity. I mean, you know... I mean, some of us are freaks out here. You know what I mean? You know... I mean, come on. You, you haven't... If you, if you, you haven't, you know... Looked at porn. It's been in front of us. I'm from New York City. It's been in front of us inside the grocery stores... Since I was about... You know, since I realized what that was. I mean, let me think... I would have to say I must have been about seven or eight years old when I'm like, all right, well, I don't, I, we don't go down those aisles, but, and then they're all covered up and stuff, and then, you know, as you go, you know, that's foul, it's foul, that is, that should be outlawed. Actually, I, I have to rephrase that. The whole mentality of my father should have been different. But honestly, that's where he was. He never told me anything about sex. He's old, old, old school. You know what I mean? He's old school. So now, then you're going to, it's going to be all on you. So you're going to, you're going to go into your own sex. And then they had sex ed in like 11th and, uh, you know, at 11, 12 in like 7th, 7th grade, maybe even 6th grade. No, I, I think it was right at that border right when you started coming to yourself so anyway it's um it's kind of a, a vulgar a vulgar way you know sexuality i'm i'm a, you know i'm a nudist like i i you know i i went to columbia you know i sought out there aren't any very you gotta like travel 
I'm talking about like 20 minutes on foot to go to a nudist, you know, a nudist beach. And then I'm there like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm free. I'm free like that. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nudist. You know, I, I, I don't mind being in a, you know, in a tribal setting. And if it's hot, if I want, if I feel like being, you know, nude or at least with very little clothing, you know, I don't, uh, you know, that might be shocking to some of you. It's like, all right, I'm going to unsubscribe to that. That's who I am. You want me to change who I am? Because I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. And then, you know what? I'm going to scrub myself from the whole fucking internet. You know, I was thinking about that. Because at a certain point, you're like, all right, I'm going to do it now. And it's like, gone. Because, um... I'm not, I, I, there's people have done that. It's like you can't even find them. You can't, if you, you know, you can't even find them. Because what you wanna, you're going to do is you're going to have already a communication with with all these big time companies where you send them your vocal pattern, you send them your visual, you know, your your uh, <clears throat> bio, what do they call it again? Your biometrics, your, you know, your biometrics and you, you copyright your biometrics. Yeah, it's something I'm gonna do. I haven't, I haven't done it yet, but who taught about that? A guy from Telegram and from PJ's old groups. Uh, he had two different. Now on Telegram, he is something baby, crying baby, uh, something. But he he talks about it. He did it, at, and he shows it somewhere. But anyway, you know, I don't know if you. I'm gonna do it with the Library of Congress because that's where people have been doing it. But that still puts you inside of the the corporation. This is something that not a lot of people are talking about. To go completely private, you are your own govern government. So if you are your own government, everything's got to be issued by you. That's the only way you could really prove it. Like, you know, for some people, if you could create your own language, that would be even better. You would have to get it translated. You would have to get it translated. Create, you know, like, you know, create. That's why a lot of people, why do you think there's so many uh, fonts out there? That certain fonts, if you create your own font, that could be the font for your government. You know what I mean? And um, I mean, if you think about it, it's, you know, one of, I mean, my, my director in my groups, you know, mentions that, you know, you should not use scriptive because we're not cursive, I should say, because we're not cursive, you know. Um, but anyway, all right, so I got to have to wrap this up. It's 47 minutes. So I'll let you know. Maybe I, if I don't have the time, I'll merge these videos with the Costco thing. No, I'm gonna keep them separate. I might not even make it. I might make like a one minute video. Look, I got it. You watch the, the previous video, watch this video. Next week, I may do one for another thing. You know, I'm gonna try and see. I don't think 98s don't work, but maybe. But I got one more, I got one more. I got my trust enterprise. Next week, that's what I'm going to do, or in two weeks from now. Um, so I couldn't get any fucking work done these past two weeks. It's like, oh my God, the energy just said, stop. See, my, the, the, the energies are so slow. The barometric pressure is rising or, or lowering. Let me think. Yeah, the pressure is rising. So I don't know how that translates. I, I, but there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure. My filters, you know, I have these little water filters, the zero water filters. They are so slow. Two weeks ago, when I was lit, so imagine there is a aspect of the pressure. When the pressure is so much pressure, you feel sluggish. You right? You feel sluggish. You can't get anything done. So what else is sluggish? Your organs are sluggish. Your mind is sluggish, you know? And then you just gotta go with the flow unless you could be somewhere where it doesn't happen, where where the, barometer, the barometric pressure is not sluggish, you know, or is less sluggish. You know, like I've been talking to somebody that's in, that's in Arizona, he's like, oh, that's all in your mind. I don't know, it feels kind of real to me. I'm in the, you know, I'm in New England area and I'm in Long Island, New York here. And it's 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 very sluggish. This past ten days, particularly, 
but now um, it's it's been very sluggish. So my water filters it would take they would take an hour to the water, which two weeks ago it would be like boom and like I mean, it would seem to me like ten minutes. Even projects I was on, bang 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 boom boom boom. I got so much work done, and then it's almost like the faucet was stopped. It was like shh, stop. Anyway, um, so that's it. All right, I think. I think I'm gonna, you know, end it soon. I, I, I know I skip around, but I, I, I'm giving you like thoughts of, hey, you know what I mean? Like, where do you live? You know, are you gonna be able to sustain yourself on a local community, tribal level? Or do you have to go? So what they're doing is they're marking their territory, just like the cats, the male cats, they go around and then it starts stinking. You know, the unfixed males, um, so, you know, whoever it is, the deep, you know, the deep state, cabal, whatever you want to call them, like, are they pushing us away? Because we're so used to it. Like, what? My question is, what I'm contemplating is, all right, where, you know, where do I want to live the remainder of my life? And I came to the conclusion of it may not be one place so you have to you could consider having multiple safe havens around the world I, I was even thinking about like having one in Switzerland you never know what would happen with the geography you never know what, what could happen there's some biblical shit about to happen in 2040 if you went to the archaics channel you know there's go to that archaics channel and just check check couple of the videos see if it resonates with you he claims and has literal proof from all of his research that he did for 25 20 some odd years with he, with old books that were printed before the turn of the century the 19th century um or the 20th century yeah 20th century the 1900s before the 1900s, those they were telling more truth. I don't know if you know that they collected all the books and burned them, the freaking Smithsonian and all that bullshit. You know, they're telling us about dinosaurs over here. We're to, we're thinking about this. They're, they're the sea, you know, dinosaurs. Anyway, so now, um, um, so he's claiming that that. In 1902, the elite went underground and they took all of their inventions, not only their inventions, everybody's inventions, all the patents and all of the literary works that needed to be protected and um, conserved, they brought them underground. And because an asteroid called the Phoenix would come, it takes a couple of years for it to come and go. If it's a bad one, it takes long. If if it's sometimes it happens very strongly. Sometimes it happens geographically. It only happens in certain areas. Sometimes it happens uh, worldwide. So, you know, one of those events was the Great Flood because it happens every 138 years from 1902. 138 years. It's 2040. So. A R C H A I X. Archaics, which stands for, I'm going to get it wrong, you know, um, artificial research, chronological, artificial intelligence. I can't remember it. So if it's an acronym, X. Artif I can't remember it. Uh, institute, some shit. But anyway, it's it's I it's occupied a lot of my time. So I know I'm the creator of my own reality, but this thing popped and it was it's got a lot of very very high level minds enjoying that content. I'm not going to say consumed with it or subscribed to it, but um, enjoying that content. So that really makes you think.
that really makes you think. Check it out if it interests you. All right, that's it. Yeah, I got to I gotta get myself together. I got to get my bags, my cards. So peace and blessings. I'm going in there. Let me try to see. It's, now it's late. But you know what? Um, all these planets, Saturn going into Pisces, what, what, what that Saturn going into Pisces, especially with Neptune there and the sun there and Mercury there, you know, these, and there, you know, the sun, Neptune are about to conjunct. It's basically what are you doing not for yourself, but what are you doing for the collective? Uh, what are you doing? And this is what I'm doing for the collective. I'm sharing as much as I can that I, that I can. And the only thing I can share is uh, something that resonates true to me. And that's it. I, I'm, 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 I feel good about who I am and what I'm doing because everything else would be a lie if I would um, come here and act to be somebody else. No, you're going to know the true me. And, uh, you know, nice to meet you. And, all right, see you around. So, uh, yeah, what that means is in Pisces, it's 12th house, 12th house of the sun, the solar sun, because the sun gets reborn on March 21st, which is the real new year. They're trying to, we've already went over September, October, November is 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th months, which if you count back, it's March, April, May, March is March 21st is the first month. Um, and what would be the 12th house of the first month would be Pisces. So now Pisces is 12th house energy, which is collect soul, the journey of the soul. And the journey of the soul is to help the collective because you're going back home, you know? So it's almost like it's very spiritual. You know, Pisces, is, you know, if you know certain Pisces, some of them are not doing well, but some of them... They're on the spirit. They're, you know, like me, I have a lot of Piscean energy because I have Neptune, which is the ruler of Pisces, you know, conjuncting Jupiter, which is the other ruler of Pisces, which was the old ruler of Pisces, but still is. But the primary ruler of Pisces is Neptune. And I have them conjunct in a Jupiter sign, which is Sagittarius. And I have them conjunct the sun. So it's, it's very powerful. It, my antenna and... My Mercury is on the, my Mercury and Venus are conjunct the galactic center. So, so, you know, my energy is like, if you think about it the way of the, you know, with the solar system and stuff, I'm lined up, I'm getting energy from the higher, from the higher realms, from the God self, from the God self, you know, that's why a lot of this, you know, inf Formation is some what some of my uh, friends call it not information but formation. Some of this information uh, is above a lot of people's heads because it's too far. It's too far out of what their the grasp of their reality is. But not for you if you're sticking around and listening to me jabber and flap. So all right, I'm gonna go into Costco now. Peace and blessings to all. I'll let you know uh, when this works here. I'm gonna get that card for the LLZ. And then uh, I found out I was a member since 2011. Wow, time flies. A member since 2011 to Costco? Yeah, I remember a little bit about getting stuff at Costco, but not much. I've been shopping here constantly, you know, like, uh, you know, it, um, religiously for the past at least five years, but before then, so that's that's kind of like a credit history, you know? So now Costco is giving Citibank a uh, kind of, they're vouching for me. That's why they're instantly approving me. I'm not sure if it's gonna work for you. Let me know in the comments. And then another thing is, I'm gonna disable comments probably in a couple months. So there's gonna be no comments. You know, the only thing I'm gonna have is a Telegram group or, you know, my own channel or whatever, but, uh, you know, I'm going to disable comments and, you know, if... all right, anyway, all right, peace and blessings to all, I'm out, I'll load this um, maybe later, because I really have to get this done, all right, peace.